Hi, I'm Robert McCohen, author of Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra. Uh, this book is intended to cover um, a one-semester course in differential equations and linear algebra. We've had such a course at Northeastern for several years since we converted from quarters to semesters. Um, but many other academic institutions have such a course, and there are many other textbooks out there that cover both differential equations and linear algebra. And I thought I would take a few minutes to describe the basic features of my book and how it differs from a lot of those that are available. Uh, to begin with, the organization of the material. So um, I cover first order equations, second order equations, and then the Laplace transform in the first three chapters. And then I move over to linear algebra and talk about Gaussian elimination and vector spaces and linear transformations and eigenvalues in chapters four, five, and six. And then in chapter seven, I bring it all together and talk about systems of differential equations. Now, one of the reasons that for this organization at Northeastern is that we have a lot of uh, elect electrical engineers that take um, this course simultaneously with the circuits course. And we told the College of Engineering that we would cover the Laplace transform in the first half of the course so that the students would be able to use it in the second half of their circuits course. But I think from a pedagogical point of view, I also like the organization this way, to cover the differential equations first and then move on to linear algebra and then bring them together at the end. So I think it would work for um, courses at other institutions as well. Secondly, I wanted to mention the uh, writing style. I think is fairly concise. Um, I find a lot of books on this subject um, are fairly verbose and try to include basically too much material for a single course. So as an instructor, I go through and I'm constantly trying to decide what to leave out because I know I can't cover everything. Um, and I think the students can find that confusing too, what's in the course, what's not. So I tried to make judicious choices about what to include in the course, not to make the book too long, and um, organize it so that there are some optional sections because you do want some possible additional material for more advanced students and honor students, but include it in such a way that it's easy to omit it. Um, so I think that's a, a useful um, feature of the, of the book. And the third thing that I wanted to mention is the exercises. So at the end of each um, section, I have uh, a list of exercises that I feel are basic skills and basic applications of the material in that section. But then I also have a section at the end of each chapter I call additional exercises. And these are exercises that cover additional applications and uh, maybe some more challenging problems. Uh, one thing I also wanted to mention is that I, I'm a big believer in covering numerical methods and computational techniques along with theoret theoretical techniques. However, given the amount of material in this book, I felt that it was unwise to try to do so. So I made the difficult decision to leave out those um, more practical uh, and computational techniques. Uh, and finally, I just wanted to mention, because this book is being largely distributed in electronic format, uh, I have the opportunity to provide uh, links to online resources. Uh, so I, I did that when I felt that it enhanced the book. Um, I tried not to just put in anything when there was something online, but when I felt that it really did add to what was already in the book. Um, so I hope that I've created something that will be um, of use and interest to instructors and students alike. Thank you.